All right, so it is Father's Day weekend, at least the time of filming this video, and Wifey Sauce and I are supposed to go over to my parents' place later this evening for a barbecue and festivities and that sort of thing. It's gonna be lots of fun. So this year for Father's Day, I thought it would be fun to get old Pop something a little bit more exciting than the typical necktie, uh, which is this 4K television, or TV, from Hisense. Now, um, it's a 50 inch, and it's uh, Hisense, for those of you who don't know, is a Chinese brand, I believe, who acquired uh, Sharp, big manufacturer a while back. So they're a pretty big brand, of course, more, more so overseas than they are here. However, I've been hearing, you know, talks that they've been making waves and stuff by um, being able to keep costs down because they're China-based and stuff, uh, but actually deliver some, some decent performance. So we're gonna put that to the test. The reason why I decided to go all out with a 4K television for, for my dad is because out of all the people I know, I don't know why I'm holding the camera like that, my parents, more than anyone else, need a TV upgrade. So badly. Uh, right now they have a projection TV, and projection TVs are like, they've been outdated for like 10 years at least, and they, I don't believe they've changed like the bulbs or like the original lamps that were in there, so the picture quality is so, the picture is so dim you can't even see it during the day. I don't, I honestly don't know how they watch TV during the day. And the second reason why I justified getting this thing is mainly for selfish reasons. I, I've personally never even had any hands-on experience with a 4K TV, believe it or not. I mean, I've seen them like a million times at conventions, like at CES and stuff, and I've seen them in other people's homes, but I've never really actually had one in the studio here. So I'm pretty excited to actually check this out, especially if it's if it's good quality for 500 bucks, I might just get one for myself in the future. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some testing here. Obviously, I'm going to take it out of the box, look at the build quality really quick, and then just fire up some shit and see how she performs. So, you know, maybe do some 4K streaming on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do some of that. And also some gaming would be nice because uh, I've, I've gamed very little on a 4K TV in the past. I would like to do some more of it perhaps today. I've uh, got my X99 test bed here, which I will be trying to connect to the television, maybe drop in a GTX 1080 or two. I say maybe because I don't have a high bandwidth bridge um, to actually take full advantage of that SLI configuration. However, there's no harm in trying to see what we can get out of a standard good old SLI bridge and, see, and see, just see what happens. So, should be fun. Let's go ahead and take this out of the box and see what she's made of. <laughs> Alright, so here's the TV, all propped up and stuff. Actually, setup was super easy. Um, the uh, the two feet on the bottom there, they uh, they just screw in with, uh, they, they each have two screws that just go directly in from the bottom. Um, super easy installation, really. And uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty nice, actually. You can see there's like a silver silver bezel at the bottom, and then the, uh, the other three edges of the screen are black. So kind of a two-tone there, but it's really subtle. It's uh, not too jarring, and the bezel's pretty thin, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it really quick, because I'm curious myself. So the bezel is about 7 eighths of an inch. So a little bit less than an inch. Uh, very thin bezel, super slim, I like that. And uh, you can see I've got House of Cards right here. I'm gonna go ahead and play it, just to give you guys an idea. Uh, now this is being upscaled, or not upscaled, this is just uh, natively streamed at 4K. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, obviously, you know, you're gonna, it's not uh, the perfect representation to watch this through a YouTube video, but I can tell you right now, it looks really, really good. Surprisingly sharp um, for a $500 4K TV. Uh, however, there is an issue. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell this either, but there is a soap opera effect. I might've mentioned that earlier. Uh, we're gonna have to disable that in the settings here in a bit, but just, uh, just look at that. Everything looks pretty good. I never knew what wrinkles were until I watched Kevin Spacey in 4K. Ooh, the intro, this should be fun. All right, so not bad, not bad at all. And uh, I'm pretty sure that my parents are gonna be thrilled with this level of quality. Um, however, I'm gonna go into the settings here and just take a look. Let's go picture mode. 
Oh, this is this is not the full settings. I need the full settings, damn you. Here we go. All right, energy saving. Okay, so apparently we're, we're, we're gonna get around to the game picture mode. Apparently that limits the, or reduces the amount of screen latency and input lag. So I'm curious to see how that works out. Uh, we're, we're fine with, uh, we'll, do, we'll do standard for now. Ooh, standard definitely makes it a bit brighter, naturally. Uh, let's go to keep brightness at those settings, backlight. Local dimming. Ooh, local dimming wasn't even on. So we can even get some, some richer blacks here by enabling that. Backlight at 100. Maybe crank this down a little bit. Looks a little overexposed. We'll do 75. Disable overscan. Sharpness looks fine. Ultra smooth motion. I want this off. You turn that off right now. This is this is the, the bullshit refresh rate that I, that I was talking about. Uh, noise reduction, sure, whatever. And then uh, adaptive contrast, we'll leave it at medium for now. Color temperature, white balance, color tuner. Okay, those are all the advanced picture settings. All right, and if we go back to our house of cards here, it looks like the soap opera effect is nowhere to be found. Thank, thank goodness. So. Uh, Apparently disabling that true motion BS has, has actually taken effect. That's good. Um, okay, everything looks good. Everything checks out on my end in, in terms of picture quality. Let's see how this bad boy does with gaming. Let's go ahead and go back to that one setting, uh, the game mode, which is under picture mode, game. It's game time. All right, time to fire up the test bed. Here we go. All right, so uh, if I mentioned Doom earlier, then I lied, uh, because uh, Doom doesn't support SLI at the moment of filming, so we're gonna do GTA 5 instead. So in the graphics, you can see here we're at 3840 by 2160, so 16 by nine resolution. Refresh rate, we can go ahead and turn that to 60, because we are using HDMI 2.0B, so we should be able to push that. Uh, MSAA, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down. I'm gonna turn that off, we'll leave FXAA for now. Everything else is uh, pretty much maxed out. Scaling and whatnot, distance scaling, uh, blah de blah de blah, advanced graphics. Oh, uh, yes, I will I will definitely apply this shit. I'm, I'm a man of application. Okay, uh, all right, all this stuff is on, except for frame scaling mode. Okay, so more or less maxed out with the exception of uh, MSAA. And we're gonna go into story mode, but before we do that, I forgot to load up fraps, give me a sec. All right, and uh, Fraps counter is in the top left corner. It's really tiny. I kind of overlooked that, so sorry if you can't see it. But right now we're at a whopping 170 FPS. We're hovering around there in the 170s, uh, the 180s from time to time. But holy smokes, this is this is some insane frame rate right here at 4K, mind you. We are at 4 freaking K. This is insane. Uh, the picture looks incredible. It looks really sharp, super crisp. Colors are really rich, they seem accurate enough. So there is a noticeable amount of input lag, I will say that. And we are in the uh, the game mode, so that should theoretically help things, but um, it's, it's still not flawless. I mean, if you're, if you're playing competitively or something like that, or if you're a serious FPS gamer, then I would stay away from, from gaming on this, this type of TV, uh, unless until the uh, input lag situation just gets better all around. It's not horrible, it's playable, but um, you will notice it, especially if you're used to gaming on a standard monitor. Don't kill my friend, leave my friend alone. Oh no, I shot the wrong, I, that was the input lag. So yeah, I wouldn't say go ahead and buy one of these TVs for gaming. Um, it's not really what it's going to be excelling at. However, if you're a casual gamer and you don't mind a little bit of input lag, then the image quality is freaking awesome. Well, honestly, it's probably unfair of me to say a little bit of input lag. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are already gaming on a monitor, on an actual gaming monitor or something, with a decent response time and, and refresh rate and things like that. So if that's the case, then yeah, you are gonna notice it quite a bit with this TV. So uh, if you're a hardcore gamer, probably, probably don't wanna game on, on here. But it does look pretty. 
All right, and just for shits and gigs, I wanted to just show you guys some of the, uh, the frame rates that I'm getting when I'm just cruising around the streets of Los Santos. This is kind of more of a, uh, I don't know, a more re representative scenario in the game. So getting about uh, 80 FPS right now, driving through the streets. Well, anywhere from 80 to 90. So it's pretty steadily, you know, floating in the, uh, the 80s and 90s region with uh, some dips into the 70s here and there. Overall though, pretty damn impressive for 4K, two GTX 1080s, holy smokes, with the pleb issue SLI bridge. All right, so just for fun, I turned on 4X MSAA just to see how much it would drop down. And we are now rocking around 60 FPS. But uh, yeah, with probably dips into the 50s, high 40s, but still very smooth and get, get none of those jaggies, even though they're maybe not quite as visible as they would be at a lower resolution. And I lost Lamar. Okay, on that note, let's wrap this up. All right, so uh, to sum up this little endeavor here, Pretty good TV, honestly. For the price, it's really good. Um, 50 inches, 4K, it's a smart TV, and it, it upscales well, everything looks great. Uh, the 4K streaming with uh, with Netflix is, is top notch. Wouldn't recommend it for gaming unless you're doing something really casual, but for just day-to-day -day use and for viewing, you know, media that's not interactive, I suppose, uh, it, it does the job. It's really good. So I've, again, put links in the description below if you want to check that out. Let me know what you guys think of this video, guys. Toss me a like on it if you enjoyed it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And I will see you all in the next one.